I hope you enjoyed today's video. But before we get started, please subscribe. And remember to hit the bell for notifications. See you soon. Uh, we've already had lunch, so it's getting later than that. So good evening, everybody. How are we doing this evening? We're out here doing a little ACDC work. Trying to get all these loose wires connected and find that missing place that they go to. Uh, it's kind of a nightmare and kind of scratching the head a lot, but at the end, they all have a place to go. And the difference between the AC and DC, DC is direct current, AC is alternating current. Uh, your, your DC is like your uh, coach battery or your off your solar cells, all that type of stuff. Your AC, which is this panel here, it's off your, uh, like, off the inverter or off a generator or offshore power. So we'll start with the inverter here. We've got a 2000 watt. Uh, it's, it's an inverter charger, so it does charge at the same time. So starting with the AC side of it, back here we've got number 10 wires and you've got more or less an in and an out. The end is like shore power, a generator, uh, any kind of a, a, a different power source. The out is what this outputs over here to your alternating or your AC breakers. So that'd be like a, a microwave, uh, an AC unit, uh, 110 plug-in, a blender, a ice maker, anything like that that runs off like 110, like your normal house current type things. And so that's what that is. It feeds here on this 30 amp, so it's uh, 30 amp protected. And then it goes into individually breakers. And then it's got its neutral and its ground. So that's kind of the AC side of it. So like I say, this go back to uh, uh, an actual ice maker goes back to AC unit, it goes back to a compressor that will have an onboard air compressor. It goes back to, there's a 110 circuit on the water heater, so the water heater heats with either propane or electricity. And then on the kitchen side, there would be like a coffee maker and a microwave. So, so that's all runoff, say the, the house current type thing, your normal house type stuff. On the DC side, that's coming up on this one. So we've got this come up off our batteries and the solar system will charge the batteries, which is gonna be down below. So we've got it like a disconnect switch here. And, and this actually goes to, this terminal here is my engine battery, not my coach batteries. So like if something ever happened to that battery and I needed to click it, so this is an off position, it's battery one or battery one and two. So if something happened to the engine battery and it wouldn't start, I could click this over to battery one and two, a little step, and that way it would tie my solar batteries into my engine batteries and start your engine, and then you could turn it back off. So that's kind of what this is. It's ran on two watt wire, because uh, we got, say roughly, what you do here, the quick and easy is, is take a zero off. So we've got like roughly a 200 amp system. So I've got a 200 amp breaker and two out wire is good for 200 amps. So that's what all this is. It ties in up here on your DC side. And then off of there, it comes to this 60 amp breaker here, which ties into all my low voltage stuff back there, like uh, our lighting, uh, the hot water heater, the furnace, uh, our, our water pump, and a couple of heating pads for our outdoor water system, our tanks and stuff. So it just don't have all the fuses in it yet. So that's what all these are. These are all my negatives over here. So these two are like the same system this is the negative this is all the positive and later on like these all get the little fuses accordingly to what what size so they just kind of poke in like that so 
uh, you'll have 15, 20s, and then 30s on there. So this way, this is all protected with this. So if it gets too hot or something, it just pop. And it's an automatic reset. It's not automatic manuals because you've got to do it. It don't <laughs> automatically reset. So you've got to click it back in. And then hopefully you don't have a problem or something. It should never really click out unless it got too hot for some reason. Then that would click out, which would protect all your different things. And that would be on this main wire here. If one of the little wires got too hot, then it's going to pop your little fuse. You might want to explain to them what you're doing to cool that area too. Oh, okay. So, so this right here, actually, your all your inverters and stuff has a, a fan on it that actually operates off a of temperature control with them. So, in addition to that, we're putting in two little 12 volt fans. So, we're going to put one up here, and it's going to be blowing in. So it's going to take the cool air from around here, blow it in, and then over on this side, there would be another one exhausting, blowing it out. So that would give us a, a continuous air current through there to keep all of our electronics cool. Uh, if, if we still have, because this has got insulin board behind it, so it should stay fairly cool in there, you just don't know. If, if it does still create a problem, then what I'm going to do is come up from underneath the shuttle bus, which is cooler because it's always kind of in shade, and put another fan down there with a little small piece of pipe coming up to blow cold air from underneath up through my cavity here. Because this will have a door on it, so it'll be a sealed compartment up here. So one way or the other, we'll keep it cool in there, and these are just little little fans I forget how many CFMs okay so they're 1300 CFMs so that's that's a good amount of little airflow because uh, usually with your little domestic uh, freezers and stuff like that you, you put a little fan on them and that keeps them kind of cool too so that's kind of some some basics of our system here of what we got it all looks kind of technical <laughs> this this system here is the old stuff that goes to the coach this system back here is the stuff that uh, goes actually on the the cab here and everything like the AC and the lights and all that is off this so I've actually got this terminal here is off our engine battery. There's another terminal back there that'll be off our uh, solar system, off our uh, coach batteries. So our solar system that would come in, it'd charge our batteries, which then the batteries come up into here. The batteries go through the inverter here, which makes our 110, which feeds this panel which makes it like your regular house current. So that's kind of the basics of how this system goes. We're gonna have 915 watts of solar up on top and hopefully 400 amps of batteries, amp hours of batteries. So it should work for us, should run everything we want. Microwave day. I don't know, heat something, heat a heating pad because you're so sore from all the work. <laughs> and then you had to have our AC unit on to cool us down because we're sweating too much. So we appreciate all your time you give us. We have fun doing these videos. Hopefully you get something out of them. And remember, I did this for 40 years, so it's all a piece of cake to me. And some people look at it and just scratch their head and think, what the heck did that guy just say? So if you're saying that and got any questions, just put them in the comments. We, we like to try to sit down in the evening and try to figure out some of the comments and get back to people, you know, and, and try to help them out because that's what it's all about nowadays is helping everybody out. You know, it's, it, it's a lot more fun and enjoyable doing that, just trying to help people out. Because maybe someday we'll all meet out there together and they'll say, Oh yeah, I like your idea on this or and we've got a couple of ideas too from different people on you know uh, 
Oh, you're so intelligent, you know, thinking of that, but did you think of this? And we're like, wow, yeah, that'd be a good idea. So, <laughs> so it works both ways, you know, everything's not one-sided. If you ever think you're too smart and don't need to learn nothing else, I don't know, you better get another book out and start reading or something, or watch more YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks for the time. Time's getting short. We've got to go. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell for notifications.